Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fire Sign Tarot. Hope everybody's well. Guess what time of year it is, guys? We're in the pre shadow for the first Mercury retrograde 2022. It's like Christmas for me. I'm excited. I'll tell you why. This is an opportunity given to us by the universe to test our spiritual growth. Yep. If someone comes back into your life, are you going to make the same mistake again? Hmm? Are you going to react the same way you did the last time? It might not even be the same person. It could just be a similar situation. Have you evolved on a soul level enough to deal with it a little bit differently? Let's see. All right. Since it is still Capricorn season, I'm going to start out with my Earth signs. I'm going to go by the elements for these. So we're going to pull a wisdom and not look at it till the end. Don't look at it. We're going to pull a moonology and not look at it till the end. Don't look at it. All right. I always have a good time with this. I do. I always have a good time. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be getting as a schoolgirl, but it's not too often that we get genuine gifts from the universe like this. It may not feel like a gift at first, but trust me, once you've taken a step back, if you looked at it from outside the situation, oh yeah, it's a gift, guys. It's definitely a gift. Did we get it four times this year? So excited. All right. Something's coming to a close, Earth signs. Something new to begin. All righty. Go ahead and tip down. Do, 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 do. Nine of Wands. Might be a Sagittarius. Could be, could be someone coming back for one last go around. Could be someone heavily guarded against you. If it resonates, let me know. Look at the bottoms of the decks later. All right. Looks like an old soulmate so far. Looks like it ended painfully. Possibly sucked a little bit of your self-worth, but it looks like you might have come out of it. You still have a genuine cup. Possibly your lesson here was self-love. Okay. Look at them. Eh, it didn't work out. They restless. Hmm. They missed an opportunity with you. Talk to me about this four of wands. Hmm. Talk to me about this ace of ten of swords.
What? Okay, it ended painfully, but the sun shined again. I don't see you giving them a second look. And one more in this Queen of Cups. I see them coming back to try to close a gap and you're not even giving them a second look. Hand you a cup, rebuild a tower. Justice at the bottom of the deck, love of the playing field. They're trying to open a door because they realize they missed an opportunity. Pentacles reversed. Nope. They are not worth your time. They are not worth your tears. They are not worth your energy. They are not the catch that they think they are or that you thought they were. Were they a soulmate? Yeah. Yeah. Give me one more on that. Five of Pentacles, you're, yeah. You're leaving them out in the cold. One on this Knight of Cups. Ten of Cups. Knight of Cups reverse. Ten of Cups. Could be a Taurus, could be an Aries. They're gonna ride off and try to find their happiness elsewhere. They're walking away from the dock. Four swords reversed for the lesson they're supposed to learn. Temperance reversed. Somebody here lost patience. Huh. Their lesson was restlessness and patience, which they did not have. Your lesson is self-love. One on this Queen of Cups.
three of swords. Even when it hurts, you love yourself first. And I feel like rejecting them a second time around is going to hurt you more than it's going to hurt them. But you have to love yourself first, my earth sign friends. Five of swords reversed, ten of cups. Five of Cups reversed. Sometimes the greatest defeats are the biggest victories when you step back and look at it from outside the situation. Fork in the road. Adjustments are required. Hmm. Fork in the road, number 13. Essential meanings. Time to make a decision. Considering the consequences as you prepare to act. Owning up to your obligation to make a necessary choice. Every choice has a consequence. You've arrived at a fork in the road and are being asked to come to a decision. Will you further your dreams by choosing left or choosing right? Will you take the road less traveled or the well-worn well -worn by others who have come before you? This is your choice and yours alone to make. Circumstances and other people will not make it for you. Be present and do not, avo do not avoid this junction, for it is an important crossroads. Take heart, as no matter which path you choose, you will have a rich and meaningful experience. Well. Adjustments are required. Third quarter moon. I know it's in here somewhere. I just have to find it. Think of yourself as a vessel, vessel that has been filled more and more over the past few weeks. Some of what has come your way may have been wonderful but there's also a lot of negativity that you need to let go of this. And you need to let go of this. Whatever situation you're asking about now, be honest about whether there are toxic emotions involved, which you need to release in to the ethers. This card also comes with the promise that all is not lost. However, there are changes or adjustments required before you will get to where you want to be and change of course is forecast now that recent events have been understood and acted upon there may also be a crisis now which will remind you what you want and what it's time to let go of so pay attention oh my gosh I'm losing my voice all right earth signs This has been your sneak peek at Mercury Retrograde. We're going to do another one next week and see if the energies have changed at all. Take care.